Well, hello to my YouTube friends out there. I am back, and this is going to be a little bit of chit chat video. I went out today with my husband. We went to the movies. Um, we haven't been in a while, and so he says, "Honey, let's go see um, White Boy Rick." And I'm like, "I seen previews of it, but I went to go see it. My husband fell asleep on part of it." He encouraged me to go, and then he goes to sleep on me. And I'm like, okay. So last night, I was, you know, I do my vaping, and I was sitting here, and um, I had some problems with my vapor um, on my mod. And for those of you who don't know that, um, I do the vaping thing. I've been doing it for seven years, and so mine went out on me. So I'm running out of the house to go get one, and I go to the vape store, and I get me another one, and we ended up in there for almost two hours. My husband got really uh, acquainted with the husband that owns the um, the facility where we went to, and my son sent me out there, so I went and got me another mod, and it's called the Drag. The Voo, the Voo Pool, let me see, let me see. <laughs> Yeah, the Voo Poo Drag. And see, I haven't been out buying any mods. I've been sticking with the same smock ones for a long time. And I haven't been searching for any new ones as well. So, that's another thing. But, the thing is, the movie, go see it, guys. It was really good. But it's it's a true story. But... Um, was back in the 80s and a lot of the music they were playing um, was really nice and brought back a whole bunch of memories but the story itself was really really good really really good I really really enjoyed it I do have something I want to haul though um, I, I don't know if you guys remember if you're new to my channel or not I'm just gonna let you guys know that I got more of the Estelada uh, the micro advanced night I had got it in a freebie and what happened was I had viewed this a year ago but they changed the packaging so it's the same it's just blue I don't know why they changed it to blue I have no idea but I ordered this one off of eBay where I got three in a pack and they come like this and I'm almost done with my other one that I had from before so that's why I wanted to go ahead and purchase it this way I don't know why they changed it to blue but it says the same thing advanced night micro cleansing foam I, can't, I said okay that's fine and if you guys notice in the background my house might be a little smoky because I just air fried some chicken wings and one thing about the air fryers that depends on what you're cooking it smokes up the house I tried um, water put water at the bottom of it but that doesn't work either so it, if there's any grease or anything like that it's gonna smoke up your house I started to take that sucker outside and put it outside on the on my uh, patio table out there and I'm like no I better not do that so anyway let me see what I want to talk oh the baby shower is Sunday um I haven't did a thing to my nails I really don't want to um I'm trying to let my nails heal um one of my subbies that have been following me for years Miss Joanne I love her she told me to put, get sea flour or something sea flour or castor oil I've been doing that but see by me being diabetic I don't heal that fast I can lotion them up and do all that but I just don't feel like doing them like I don't feel like putting on nails right now like taking the time to do it I just knowing I need to have my hands together for my son's baby shower and he, th he this is his first time being a father and it's so new to him and he asked me a question this morning he was like mom this might sound stupid I said James what is it you know like when the baby is born how would the baby know that you are the father and all and I had to explain to him you know you're gonna feel that you're going to when you hold that baby for the first time it's just going to come out of Maddox, son. The baby's going to know. That's God's way of doing things. And he created that. 
So it's that bond, that special bond that you're going to feel. I can't explain it to you. I told him, I said, I can't explain it to you, son. But this is what you're going to feel. You're going to feel this special bond that you're going to have with your baby. And I'm so happy for him. Um, he wasn't here when we came back from the movies. So I, I just started cooking right away. And um, tomorrow... I have to go see my grandson play, my oldest grandson, he's 14, he's in high school. And he's playing this school called Bishop O'Dowd, and it's supposed to be really, really good. So I got my shirt, and I got all my stuff that I'm supposed to wear to support my grandson. So I'm going to go to that, take pictures with him, and just hang out with him. He's such a good kid, and he's so smart. Like, he get really good grades in school. And, you know, my other grandson, he just turned 11 yesterday. So, I got to hook him up. And um, then I got the twins. Um, they'll be six years old. And I have four grandsons by my other oldest son. So, now this will be number five. And I'm just... I get emotional because... That day when James had that baby, trust me, the Lord see fit for me to live long enough to see this happen. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something else, but but good in a good way. It's gonna be. I'm gonna have to be there to support him and get him through. Uh, I just, it's just so much going on. And then my mom, her birthday is Monday. And uh, she, she's doing okay. She's been in a lot of pain. Yesterday she was much better. Uh, I talked with the nurse so that way they can, you know, up her meds a little bit more to make her more comfortable. And I sat with her. You know, I'm there at the hospital quite a bit. So I took a break for myself today just to get out with my husband and we can just go to the movies and just do, do us, you know. Um, cause I'm always there so much. It's like I work there. <laughs> like I'm back in the hospital field, but it's okay. It's my mother. And I love her. And I just wish, I just pray to God that she can just get out of bed and do the things she used to do. But she'd be 84. And she gets depressed cause she can't get up. And that's why she tried to get up. And broke her two places of her ankle. So, anyway, I don't want to just keep, you know, going on and on with that. I just just keep praying for us, praying for my mom, myself. You know, um, I got some good people out there that follows me. I appreciate it. You guys leave your comments down below. Um, if you like this video, thumbs me up. Leave the comments down below because you know I love my comments. And if you're new to my channel, God bless you. Hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more videos to come. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.